Uh, right behind me here, there's a creek that goes through the field over here. And yesterday I drove by and they were bush hogging it. So they, they finished bush hogging it. And uh, I've caught some fish down this creek before, but uh, it's so much easier now that it's bush hog. I'm gonna take just a little box of just hooks. All I'm gonna take with me, my fishing pole. I'm um, gonna try to find some grasshoppers and use them for bait. Oh, there's one right there. I didn't even got in going. I just stepped across the road. Oh, yes. That's a big one. There's a groundhog ran in a hole right there. I was just looking at it or trying to see it. And um, now I've got one. I'm going to get over here across this water over here to the creek. See if we can get a fish. Well, I got a big grasshopper to start with. But uh, I got it on four pound line. So I should be able to cast it out without no weight. Let it just hit the top of the water. Hopefully some fish are waiting on it. Oh, I had a bite. This grasshopper may be a little too big to get in their mouth. Don't know what's in there. Maybe a, there is some bass in this creek. I got one. Oh, it's a good fish. Whoa, this thing is pulling. It's a bass. Oh man, that's a good bass. The grasshopper, first catch. Boom. Nice little bass there. And I still got my grasshopper. All right, that's a good start. If I cast over there, I might not get my, might not get it back, but it looks like there's some fish in there. Got one. All right. Four pound mono is pretty good. I like it, especially using it around this brush and stuff. I'm not too worried about it tearing up. Number two is like my third cast. Lost my grasshopper though. Nice little bluegill. Well, it didn't take long. It's, it's, uh, it's October the 2nd. You know, it's kind of hot out still for being October, but right now the grasshoppers are jumping every which way, getting ready to, for fall. I'm gonna go get another one. Second grasshopper is a little one, but I think it'll still work. I had a bite. And it took my grasshopper. All right, I need something else. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, there's one, there's one. Oh, hold on still, hold still. Oh, I missed him. Oh, there's a turtle down there. Searching for a grasshopper. Little guy go. Well, I, ain't, I need to find another grasshopper, but I found a little turtle. He's just crawling on the, on the water here. Oh, he looks mean. All right, I'm gonna find some more grasshoppers. Oh, there's one. A big one, a big one. Where you at, where you at? Got him. I think, there he is. Yeah, that dude was gonna catch me a fish. Well, they're eating it apart, but I can't get them hooked right now. Well, they cleaned me out. Man, these guys are hard. Gotta find another one. There he is. He's blending in. Okay, looks like a good size one. Should be just about right size, catch some of these bluegill or whatever is biting at it. Oh, I got a good fish. Hold on, I don't want to pull too hard because I'm stuck in a bunch of weeds. Oh, I'm just caught up in a mess. It's got a red breast on there and a bunch of weeds. There he is, red breast. Oh, still got my grasshopper, that's a good thing because Hey, going around looking for them. All right, red breast sunfish. Ooh. Oh, we got one. Oh, a bunch of big shiners in there. Little school of them coming up in this creek. Yeah, they're tacked on it. Hey, another fish. What is it? Another red breast. This little piece of a grasshopper is wearing them out. I didn't think it would last on there this long. 
Oh, I see a bass. I got it. I think I got it. Sweet. I could barely see him in there. I couldn't tell if he was going for my grasshopper or not. It was the, the old dead grasshopper. And uh, I just twitched it. And uh, then he finally took it. Another little largemouth. Awesome. Oh, oh. There he is. I saw that. Man, these things are strong. <laughs> the water's pretty clear right there. And uh, I'm just casting. And the sun's shining where I can see. And I'm just... the little uh, piece of the grasshopper that I had left, which is gone now, just floating towards the bottom and this fish just comes out, he looks at it, then eats it. Oh, there's a good grasshopper, I gotta catch him. So I can use him again. How did I lose him? I'm getting slow. All right. Well, I'm losing my touch. I need to start going out and catching grasshoppers more often. Oh, oh, oh. big in, got him. Holy oh, bugger between my fingers. All right, I'm gonna use him in a minute too. I got a, one already in here. See if I can throw this guy in there without losing the other one. Oh, a little one got out. That's all right. I got the big one in there. Oh, we got one. Another one. There's off a little one there. Just another little blue gill. Uh, we got here a big shiner. That's a good size one. That's a pretty long one there. All right, let's see if I can catch anything off this little piece of a grasshopper. Then I'll switch to that big one I have. Oh, it didn't take long. And get over here. Looks like a green sunfish. Get over here. Yep, green sunfish. Little guy. All right, I'm gonna get this big crack grasshopper I got in there out. It's probably be my last one. Uh, I'm gonna hit a couple more spots. Maybe I'll catch a bass or some big bluegill on it. Oh, we about got away, but I got him. Look at that little guy. This guy's just too big for anything in this little hole to eat, so I'm gonna break it up and try to catch some of these. Oh, and they go. They're just swarming it. More shiners. How many of these things are in this creek? I've never seen them this many up this far of the creek. That was all in the uh, grasshopper head. Oh, another shiner. Looks like I'm gonna catch a bunch of those tonight. Well, this may be my last fish. That last grasshopper lasted a while, but uh, I had to break it apart to catch fish because they were too big for it. Man, that's a fun time. More fun than I thought it would be just catching grasshoppers and catching fish. Lots about as simple as it gets when you come to fishing. Just catching some grasshoppers, throwing them, throwing them on a hook, just casting it out there, let something take it. That's actually pretty fun. I uh, had a little trouble catching a few of the grasshoppers, but some of them were just right after I got done uh, catching a fish, I'd catch another one. So the grasshoppers actually last a little longer than I thought. I figured they'd get ripped off right away. It's been a while since I've just gone out and caught some grasshoppers and fished with them. So I'm glad I only brought this with me. That way I had to do it and I had a good time fishing it.